what we do here is go back, 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 back. Welcome to leg number nine, Silver Springs, of our bush trips. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far, and I hope you guys have been enjoying all the cool scenery we've been taking a look at. Uh, but uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's get on with leg number nine. How about that? As always, I like to say that if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, comment down below, let me know what you think, and if you're coming back to. Uh, watch the video because you're already a member of the family. Don't forget to comment down uh, uh, and to comment down down below to uh, let me know what you think and uh, what what you like for me to do next. I'm very eager to finish this uh, this bush trips and uh, start a new one. Uh, there is 25 legs to this. We're on leg number nine, so let's get on with it and uh, let's go ahead and uh, up inside the plane. Battery coming on. Avionics coming on. Both igniters and ignition. All right, on the brakes. Uh, let's take a look at our nav log and see what we're doing. Looks like we have a couple of legs, a uh, couple of uh, waypoints here to ten with three. Uh, first, we're gonna take off at 3:38 for uh, 5:33. Head west upon takeoff. Uh, winding your way over lengthy tracks of Nevada farmland approaching a rise of area hills You'll reunite with Route 95 on the western side. The highway will start bending slightly northwest leading toward a railway intersection in the old town of Wabuska So let's uh, let's start with that 338 for 5 minutes and 33 Secundos Let me fix my uh, let me get into my uh, um, taxi view here so we can see where we're going and I believe we came from that way yeah we sure did all right fellas again don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying the series comment down in the comments down below come check me out on discord and all that good stuff as we taxi here let's get all that uh, Commonality out of the way. All right, we're gonna taxi on to 28 or 20, right? Was it 20? Yeah, 20. So we're gonna make our way to uh, runway 20, and we're gonna take it on off. Hope everybody is enjoying their days. Um, hope everybody's staying away, stay out of trouble. Staying safe with this uh, virus nine cents that's still going on. Hopefully, we'll see some good news about that here soon. We'll see. <clears throat> so yeah, don't uh, don't forget to let me know in the comments. This is great though. It's been a really cool series to actually <coughs> learn how to navigate even more than I already knew how to. Um, so I, I I can't wait to get more into it with uh, different type of planes and, and and all that stuff another thing uh, another thing that I like to bring to the channel is me flying on VETSIM live uh, if you guys don't know what VETSIM is it's basically a virtual environment with live ATC and live pilots no AI no artificial intelligence just people real people uh, controlling uh, real airspaces and real pilots flying virtually obviously uh, a lot of people that fly on that sim are actually real pilots and, and a lot of people that control are actually real uh, ATCs as well. Uh, if you guys haven't heard about that, check it out. Google it, that sim. See what it's all about. If you do have the game and you enjoy it and you would like to immerse yourself in a little bit more realism, check out that sim. Uh, another one that's really good, uh, it's uh, Pilot Edge. Check it out. Google it, Pilot Edge. The only thing with Pilot Edge is it requires a monthly subscription. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm not I'm not willing to do that. I don't want to pay to play. If you know what I mean. I already bought the game. That's enough. Uh, you expect me to uh, pay a monthly fee to? I mean, if, if that's what you, if that's what they want to do, that's fine. And, and and people like to join it. The the thing, the good thing about paying a monthly subscription is you're not gonna get 
the the little kids that don't know nothing about flying getting in there and messing everything up you know flying flying like uh, uh, like they're not even being in you know they're not in, in a control environment if you know what I mean so and that's uh, you, you see some of those on vets and you know you, you're going into land and next thing you know you got the little snotty kid that's that uh, they got the game they got the simulator from uh, from dad and he's slewing all over the place you know and that's that's it that's not what you do or cut it in front of you to come to go land and you know that's that's not what you're gonna do it's most likely gonna get you banned out of vet sim anyway um, but you know people tend to get away with that type of stupid stuff and it, it, it upsets me a little bit when it happens um, because, you know, it, yeah, it is a game. Everybody understands that. But if you join Vetsim to make it more real and to, to get yourself immersed in that type of realism, um, then you would like for it to be legit, you know? Otherwise, if you just want to play it for the hell of it, don't do it on Vetsim. Do it on uh, single player, and, uh, and that's it. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You can fly upside down. You can fly... We know we know ATCs, no controller. You can do whatever you want on single player, but if you go multiplayer, you know, don't act a fool. All right, let's uh, stop right here. Let's uh, check left and check right. Looks like we're good to go. All right, strobe lights and landing lights coming on. Gonna get ourselves lined up with the runway. Flap set takeoff. And let's roll. Let's roll this bad boy. Alright, airspeed is alive. Plenty of speed. He's up on the throttle a little bit. Up on the flaps. We don't need those anymore. Let's start turning. We're gonna turn and start our time. Turning to 338, right? Yep. Awesome. There's a highway right there. We are on a heading of about 338. Try and uh, trim this thing. Perfect. We're actually on a slow climb right now. Fire right there, right beside us. All right, how long will we find this leg for? Uh, 533. Very nice. Very beautiful scenery, guys. Once in a while, I get these little starters, and I don't know why. I need to figure that out. It's, uh, it's upsetting me a little bit. Other than that, the game uh, has been performing really well. I'm on high settings right now, and 
I really can't complain. Getting good frame rates. But yeah, like, every once in a while, I'll get a stutter or two. I guess when stuff is start, it's trying to load in. I mean, I am running OBS in the background, recording, and Discord, and all kinds of other crap. So that might be why, but... Yeah. Nonetheless, it's running very smooth. See? That's what I'm talking about. That little stutter I just had. Let me see if I can recreate. Now, once it does it, it's done. I guess it tries to load something. I don't know. Not sure. But like I said, aside from that, the game runs really well. <clears throat> I'm really glad that uh, it runs this good. stay on course we got the highway right below us actually right now look at all this flat land and there's mountains all around us beautiful We're at 4.15 right now, so about another minute or so, yep. All this farmland, guys. All that is. I wish they had little combines and stuff, like cultivating the land tractors and I wish that that was a thing but I guess not there'll be too much for this I guess I wonder what that is over there all right we're at five minutes right now so another 30 seconds or so and then we're gonna be heading 326 for six basically we're following 95 all the way back up the clock over here as well and let's go ahead and correct our heading 326 you know long 95a and you'll soon see the road ahead curve eastward park around the base of the neighboring hills and you path will turn north to cross the mighty Carson River. Alright, so we should see the Carson River here. What do we say we want a heading of 
Beautiful. Look at the road right there, 95. Heading is about 315. Bill, we're doing this for how long now? 6.1 617 We're looking on fuel the Carson River in front of us I think Going on five minutes and eighteen seconds. Another minute or so. There's the river, Carson River, right there. See it. Very nice. I'm going to be heading three forty five, looks like. It's a straight northeast from here when you see the London Reservoir on your right break break off from the road and then north. Let me get my heading here. 345. I want to load too far.
and no stop preparing the land. Silver Spring Airport will be within eye shot awaiting your arrival. Alright. Or twenty away. Looks like that's the reservoir right there. I would guess. There's uh that looks like it's ninety five down there as well. minute or so to go you start seeing the field somewhere around here looks like a good spot for a field Look at that picture. See what it looks like. I think that's it right there. Yep, that is the field. So there it is, boys. Now we do it. Check out this little town, though. So uh, let's circle around the town and check it out before we land. And then we'll go straight in, I guess. Can you imagine living here in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> well, how do you get home during the day? I think I'll take the bush plane. Look at that reservoir right there. My oh my. My landing lights are already on, I never turn them off, which is quite fine. No big deal at all, not in a bush plane.
That starting might be my track IR, honestly. It might not even be the game. Very beautiful. I'll turn left uh, base here in a minute. That's a road. Very legit. All right. Uh, ooh, what's down here? What is that? The extended leg here. Is it like a big farm? Oh, it looks like a. Might be like a big college. It's got two fields, baseball field, two baseball fields. Look at that. It's amazing. Pretty cool. It might be that might be a college campus. Look at that. How cool is that guys? Alright, let's go land. And let's uh cool this leg of our journey complete. Oh, wow, a little squiggly. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, with the tail wheel, yeah, it's a little, a little complicated sometimes. But nonetheless, uh, we'll take that landing, and we'll close this chapter of our bush trip legs. This is uh, lake number nine, like I said it before. Uh, so next will be our lake number ten. Nice little airport over here, huh? <clears throat> we'll park it somewhere over there. Nice little regional airport. There's absolutely no taxiways. You land and then you turn. We'll go to the right side. All right, guys, as we get to a parking spot, like always, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in and checking out my video, man. I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for all the support. And what do we park? <laughs> all right, here. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, uh, stay safe and uh, stay strong and all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you all next time. Peace out.